Hey guys, so I have this super unhappy staghorn fern here and I think he'll be a lot happier if he's mounted to something. So we're gonna mount him onto this beautiful piece of raw edged wood. And I'm gonna do that using some burlap and some staples. And this is my first time trying this, so you're getting the live trial and error version. Okay, so firstly, I just loaded in some staples and you definitely wanna make sure you don't ever like aim this at yourself just in case. And then secondly, I'm gonna cut up my burlap here. Some really nice dollar store kid scissors. Okay, um, I'm trying to think if I want to do a double layer. I think I'll just do a single layer. Cut this in half. Okay, and like I said, this is a really sad looking staghorn fern. I just think that he's kind of been neglected and isn't really loving his pot situation because he has some really good healthy roots, so I know he wants to grow. Now I just kinda wanna figure out how I want him to be situated on here. Like right there. That should be good. I'm just gonna add a little bit more soil. And I'm also gonna add some sphagnum moss because this will help keep the moisture in, especially in these really hot buffalo summers so I don't have to water it like every single day. Now, if you guys don't know anything about staghorn ferns, they actually grow in the wild on trees. So they don't actually grow in soil. I mean, they can grow in soil, but they prefer to be mounted. All right, that looks good. And then under the burlap, I'm gonna take some of this coconut coir just so that I don't have lots of trouble trying to staple down the burlap right on top of this moss. I'm just gonna kind of get it all Nice and tucked in there. All right, well, here goes nothing. Here goes my first staple. Nice. It's gonna work way better than I had anticipated. I'm just gonna really tuck in all this soil and moss. going all the way. Got too ambitious. Now that my coconut coir is on there and this feels pretty stable, I mean you could even just leave it like this and add more coconut, but I just kind of like the look of the burlap. Also, if you hear a million noises, just please ignore them. I live in a village and in the daytime, it's just, there's noise everywhere and my dog is barking and we're just going with it. <laughs> just gonna try to see how I want this. Do I want it raw edge or do I want to fold the edges over? Do I want to cut the edges? Ugh. First of all, I think I'll just trim it a little bit because I obviously don't need it to be this big. raw edge because it'll kind of fray a little and look nice let's try to fray it ourselves and see what it looks like yeah that looks really cool and then this edge I can just kind of tuck under this shield here I 
right. Brush off all the extra soil. Seems good to go. And then what I probably should have done in the beginning was add some string back here, but that's okay. We'll do it now. Just get any size piece, tighten a little knot so that it's doubled up. And then I'll just staple it on the back. Again, you probably should have done this first, but you know. Don't be like me, do this step first. There you go. We have ourselves a beautiful staghorn fern mount. Well, staghorn fern is not very beautiful, but the mount itself is. It turned out really well and it was actually so much easier than I had anticipated. The staple gun is honestly so easy and simple to use. I've seen people do this with little nails all the way around, but I mean, why use nails if you can use, just use a little staple gun? Now when I go to water this, I'll just, if I have a bucket big enough, I'll just submerge the whole thing in the bucket for 10 minutes. But if not, then I'll just set it in the sink and run the faucet, just probably like right on here, until I can feel that it's heavy and that all the soil is nice and moist. And I may have photoshopped the thumbnail a little bit because, I mean, obviously this guy is ugly and I was worried that nobody would click on it. Once this guy starts growing and is beautiful and green, this thing will be beautiful.